seorang mantan tentara Amerika mengisahkan perjalanannya masuk Islam. Dimulai dari saat ia mendengar panggilan ibadah saat ditugaskan di Afghanistan hingga hidupnya yang merasa tersesat. So it started back in around 2017 when I was in the army, I was in Afghanistan. I woke up one morning and I heard this uh, I heard the call to prayer the Adhan uh, in a village that was nearby and I didn't know too much about it at the time but it really to me it just sounded very just beautiful and like I just it was just like oh that's cool. Fast forward a couple years I had gotten out of the army around 2020 and uh, I was just very lost and not really sure what to do with my life and Suatu malam ia pun mabuk-mabukan dan karena bosan ia akhirnya menonton video YouTube dan ia pun mencari tahu tentang panggilan ibadah seperti di Yerusalem. But one night I was a little intoxicated maybe, you know, just bored on a Saturday uh, looking up YouTube videos and stuff and I just got this notion to let me look up a call to prayer in like Jerusalem or somewhere like that. When I started watching it, I just felt like this weight come over my body and just felt like my like tears well up in my eyes and just got all emotional. I didn't know why. But the next morning, I woke up and I just had this like urge to just for some reason just learn about Islam, like just like that last night that meant something and I began to start questioning a lot of the things I grew up with. I was born Christian, raised Christian, and I, I was a Christian. I consider myself a Christian my whole life. So I started to look into Islam a lot more that day. I felt like this extreme desire to like learn about it. So then I began looking at YouTube videos, asking out some of my Muslim friends and stuff, and, and reading the Quran and things like that. Tidak butuh waktu lama. Setelah cari tahu apa itu Islam dan bertanya kepada beberapa teman nih, akhirnya dia pun masuk Islam. It, it took me a whole year just kind of researching and you know, so I could just firmly make this decision. You know, I even fasted during Ramadan in 2021. Alhamdulillah in 2022. Uh, in January I did take my shahada and it's been the best decision of 